Hey YouTube subscribers, hey YouTube world. Um, I haven't made a video in at least a couple weeks, so I wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I've just been super busy, and I'm sorry I haven't had a chance to really film, but um, because of that, I did want to make a video, and I'm also trying to get over migraine, so I feel like now would be a good time to film. Um, while I'm waiting for my medicine to fully kick in, you know, um, there's not much else I can do while I wait for that, you know, until I start feeling better. So that's kind of uh, when I do film sometimes because there's not much else I can do. If you suffer from migraines, you probably can relate. They're pretty um, incapacitating when they happen. Um, I did have, I actually did have a migraine at work, um, either last week or the week before, and it was terrible. I, I, um, you know, had to take medicine. I wound up actually throwing up at work, um, from the nausea, from the migraine. And, uh, but, you know, you, you still have to get your job done. So that's what makes made it so terrible was here I am not feeling good myself and I have to take care of other people but so I took my medicine uh, threw up and then I felt better and was able to you know take care of my patients but it just it stinks when that happens at any job when you have a migraine it's just uh, really hard to get through your job when you don't feel you know um, well but anyway I, th I think I've only had that like once where I had a really bad migraine at work so far. But uh, my migraines have gotten a lot better. I think I mentioned in another video talking about them since I got off birth control. But they're still, it's still a problem for me, especially uh, when I get my period. I think the hormonal change just sets me up for a migraine. But um, in general, they have gotten better since I got off birth control a few years ago. Um, and I also think they kind of triggered my migraines in a way, birth control, because I didn't have any migraines until I started on birth control. But anyways, um, hard to say, but I do think there's a link there. But anyway, so what I've been up to the last few weeks is I've just been working a ton uh, at my job. I finished training officially on um, my Friday night shift and I feel like it's time. I feel like I'm as ready as I'm gonna be um, as far as training goes and I'm kind of like okay I'm ready to be finished now. Um, you know I'm feeling a lot more confident as a nurse. I don't know everything. You're never gonna know everything in the medical field but I feel like I'm as prepared as I'm going to get and I would like to be making more decisions on my own now. Uh, I feel like I have enough background and training to be able to function on my own and make those calls for my patients. Um, so I'm glad that I got that extra time. I talked to um, the staffing person about getting more training and I'm glad I did because I feel like I needed those extra three weeks. Initially I was only going to be given a month and to me that wasn't enough as a new grad especially because sometimes my trainer would have to leave the unit. So I really was only getting maybe three weeks. I wasn't getting the full month because my trainer kept having to leave the unit. Um, and some of those nights when she was supposed to train me. So I requested more and I also didn't like my schedule um, that they gave me after my after a month. They said I, they um, wanted me to work four twelves every other week and I didn't like that idea because I'm already working a lot, uh, working three twelves because oftentimes you're stuck at work, finish finishing charting so your 12-hour shifts become 14 15 hours depending on you know if something goes happens to your patient at change of shift if you've charting to finish um, there always seems to be something on one of my shifts that can turn it into 12 hours to 15 not every shift but 
um, some shifts that happen. So I don't want to be working, you know, 50 plus hours a week. To me, that's not healthy and it's not good for me. It's, and I don't think it's good for patients to be working so much and uh, just not a good work-life balance. So I talked to them about not doing that and the trade-off between getting more training and not working for 12s was they switched me at my job to a different unit that um, has been having, they've been having a bit of difficulty getting it staffed without calling in um, people from like a temp agency, a temp agents, I guess just an agency calling in um, nurses from outside. Um, we call it registry. So they were having issues staffing it regularly. So the trade-off was um, in order for me to get more training and only work 312s is they could um, basically move me to any unit. So they moved me to a unit that's been having issues with um, regular staffing and it's just a busier type of unit. Um, and I agreed to that because I wanted more training and I didn't want to be working for 12s. So uh, I've been on a different unit the last three weeks where I got my more tra more training. And um, so I've been adjusting to that. And I think it was a better call for me to do that. That was the agreement and I'm glad we did that. But at the same time, there's... A little bit of issues with that as well because I <laughs> liked the other unit that I was on before better but this was the trade-off so um, the trade-off is this unit is busier and it's more higher acuity patients um, it's almost like working in a progressive care unit um, some of the patients you might even say are ICU level patients. So I didn't really want to work in the ICU or work in high acuity as a new grad because when I did that, um, when I did my critical care uh, learning in nursing school, I thought, oh, this is a little too much. I don't want to start off as that. I want to start off as med surge. So in a way, it's been good and bad because it is a lot, especially as a new grad, um, to be doing higher acuity stuff. But in a way, it's good for me because I'm being challenged. I'm getting more comfortable with higher level acuity patients and I'm learning so much. So it's good and bad um, to be on this unit, but I am, I'm glad that I don't have to work the 412s and I'm glad that I got more training that I requested. Um, and I got training with other nurses other than just one nurse. So overall, I think it was a positive trade-off. Um, I will say, and I've mentioned this in my other video, and it's not just where I work, but I think nursing care in general in nursing homes needs to be better. And by that, I mean I feel like there's staffing issues at nursing homes. I think nurses are given too many patients at nursing homes. And I just, I don't like it because I feel like our elderly deserve just as good care as anybody else. And um, I think that's a problem in this country nationwide is that nursing homes need to have better staffing, a better nurse to patient radio ratios. Uh, I think our elderly deserve the best care that that we can offer them. You know, there's that like old joke that, oh, we're going to send you to a home if you don't behave well, like to your parents. But the reason why I think that joke is, is because, you know, nursing homes, they don't get the level of care that they should get, the patients that are there. Um, yeah, so I think that's a problem I'm seeing where I work, but in general in any nursing home is I think the level of care needs to be better. We need to be um, supporting our nurses better and supporting our elderly better by staffing less patients to nurses. 
Um, and also getting more CNAs as well in these type of environments. I've seen it in clinicals and I see it where I am now that there's not enough CNAs. We're asking our CNAs and our nurses to do too much um, while giving good care and it's just, it's a problem, I think, personally. But anyway, um, I'm, I'm happy to have this job. I'm happy to be a nurse, finally. Um, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of how far I've come in a short amount of time. So I've been a nurse almost two months now. And I've been able to help a lot of people. Um, every time I go in and I get a compliment from a patient, um, it just makes me feel, it just makes my day when I get those compliments because um, it makes it makes me feel good that they see that I'm doing the best I can and um, that I'm taking good care of them. It makes me feel good when I get compliments from patients and uh, I'm just continuing to learn so much and last this past week was kind of crazy. Uh, there was a lot going on. I feel like I say that every after every three day shift, but it really was it it really was crazy. Um, even senior nursing staff was saying that. Uh, but other than that, um, not too much going on in my personal life. Uh, just trying to get on a schedule now that I have like a working a work schedule set in place. Um, working Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is now, which, um, the only thing I don't like about that schedule that I'm working now is, um, me and my friends usually go out to eat Saturday mornings and I've been too tired to do that because after coming off of my three days, um, I just need to go to sleep. Like when I get home, eat and then go to sleep. I don't have the energy or... Uh, I don't think it's good to be making myself stay up even later just to go out to eat with my friends. So it stinks because that's when I get to like catch up with some of my close friends and everything. But health wise, I know I need to take care of myself as a nurse and go to sleep after working three shifts, not stay up and for a few more hours and go out to eat. Like, no, I need to just go home eat something real fast at home or fast food whatever and then sleep and then um, I usually get up for a few hours after I, I sleep I, I sleep probably eight hours or so and then the routine has been I get up I eat again <laughs> once I'm done sleeping and um, catch up on social media catch up with my friends whoever's been calling me and I just kind of relax for a few hours, get something to eat, like I said, and then I go back to sleep um, after, you know, checking in with everybody, seeing my husband, uh, and then I kind of get off the night schedule, like I get up at like nine or so the next day and I'm good. Um, it's really important, I think, as a nurse and as a nursing student that you take really good care of yourself. If you're in any type of helping profession, um, that's something I learned uh, pretty quickly on in nursing school is you got to take care of yourself. You can't be um, expected to be helping others if you're not getting the right amount of sleep, not eating well. Um, not doing mental health checks, um, not getting support. You need to be even taking better care of yourself than the average person if you're expected to take care of others or else you're going to burn out or you're going to um, hurt yourself physically or mentally. So what I do is I try to eat really the best I can and um, try to keep my own health a top priority, make sure I'm going to sleep, um, make sure I'm setting those boundaries. So I know my friends want to go out to eat with me after my three shifts are done just to catch up, 
you know, shoot the breeze and see each other. But I know that I can't do that because I need to make sure I'm getting my sleep after I work those three shifts. Um, so I'll have to figure out another way that I can catch up with them on a different day or whatever. Uh, so you need to learn to set boundaries as well. That's something really important. Um, to help take care of yourself. And um, I'm still, don't get me wrong, I'm still working on that to a degree. Like, I do not take breaks like I'm supposed to as a nurse yet because I'm just too busy. But I do um, take that time once I'm done doing my big med passes to at least sit in a chair for, you know, 15 minutes if that's all I've got do charting and grab something like I so what I've been doing is at first I was packing lunches because I was idealistic and you should be taking a lunch if you're working 12 hours but especially on the unit I'm on now I do not feel comfortable leaving the unit for that long um, when I have such critical patients and so much to do so what I've learned to at least do so that I'm taking care of myself is I make sure to pack um, a large snack with me in my purse. That way I don't even have to leave the unit. My purse is right there at the nurse's station and um, I grab the snack while I'm doing charting um, and I make sure to drink something during those 15 minutes and take a bathroom break. Um, Yes, we need to take care of our patients. Yes, we need to be accessible, but we also need to be taking time to at least sit down and breathe for a minute and regroup and uh, eat something, drink something, go to the bathroom if you're working 12 hours. Uh, I've seen nurses who, you know, ER nurses and stuff, they also have a lot of hard time taking those breaks, but you need to at least grab some graham crackers grab a glass of water and do that during your shift um, or else you're going to start having issues. So that's what I do. Um, I'm hoping eventually I will get to that point where I can take my half hour breaks, but we'll see. I don't know. Um, I don't want to be taking a half hour break if that means I'm going to be there another half hour when I'm done working 12 12, 13 hours. Like I, I would rather just kind of do a, uh, do like a working lunch than be stuck there longer, especially when you've got nurses who they want to start on time their shift. So I don't want to be making other nurses start their shift late or making myself be stuck there later than I have to. So that's what I've been doing. And hopefully I'll get to the point where I am able to um, take an actual lunch eventually. But uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Um, I really like uh, being a nurse in general so far. Yes, it was terrifying, especially the first couple weeks starting there. Um, but it's just I'm getting more comfortable. And the only real hard part for me still is some of the computer. Um, I feel like it can be very time consuming and frustrating at times, knowing what to do when something happens to a patient with your charting. Um, but other than that, as far as patient care, I feel comfortable. Um, I really enjoy helping my patients and, um, for the most part, working in that team environment. And yeah, but um, I'll keep you guys updated as far as that goes. Oh, and I, I did do some shopping on my days off last week. Um, now that I'm actually making a decent amount of money, like a livable wage, uh, nurses don't make what doctors make, of course, but um, we make good enough where we we can support ourselves for the most part. Um, so I finally went shopping, got some clothes. Um, I haven't like redone my wardrobe in like three years. So I finally took that time for myself, 
went fall shopping um, and yeah so I'm happy about that I still have a ways to come as far as getting out of my debt but I started to pay off some of that now finally um, so I'm excited to be financially secure finally and starting to work off my debt and my debt should be paid off pretty soon knock on wood in a few months um, yeah so that's all that's been going on for me I hope you guys are doing well um, I'm excited for Halloween I still have to get a costume for my friend's party but I'm not gonna have a party even though my good friend was like you have to have a Halloween party and blah blah and it'd be so much fun and da 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 well yeah it would be but it's also a lot of work when I host a party because I gotta get my house completely clean I gotta do all my yard work buy decorations buy food I just don't have the money for that right now or the time and energy I'm still trying to work out a schedule now that I've got my working schedule um, still trying to figure out like when I can work out and do other things so I had to set boundaries and say I'm not having that party um, you know too much going on right now but maybe New Year's um, we'll have another party because I love I do love hosting parties it's just um, po parties are expensive and time-consuming so I'm not doing anything that I don't have to right now while I get myself you know all s situated um, so yeah again setting boundaries okay guys well I hope you're doing well um, and if you have questions comments please leave them below and uh, talk to you later bye guys